In spite of the resurgent passing attack, the focus of the Bronco offense still centered on the legs of Floyd Little, number 44. For six years in Denver, he has quietly, steadily gone about his business as one of football's finest ground gainers. Surprisingly, he is used mostly as an inside runner in apparent disregard of his modest 195 pounds. The assignment is, however, a tribute to his strong leg drive and extraordinary balance. A defender once said, tackling Floyd Little is like wrestling with a bag of flour open at the top. He just spills out all over, and you're left holding the bag. The bowed legs, the flowing moves, the easy rhythm all add up to the fact that a little goes a long way. Lloyd Little also makes his first Denver appearance a successful one, sweeping right for the first Bronco score. In the case of Floyd Little, it's just a matter of time. He must learn the pro running style. Blocking, he must cut his man to the ground. Against Buffalo, Floyd shows why he was a number one draft choice and why he will be a great pro runner. Something Little didn't have to learn was kickoff and punt return. As the 195-pound rookie told us, Well, I prefer uh, up the middle on kickoffs, punts, and everything else because uh, I think you have an option of going left and right depending on the flow of the traffic coming down in pursuit. And uh, it's better to return up the middle because you can, if you can get through the major part of the traffic, you have a 90% chance of going all the way. And uh, it can get difficult when you're returning punts and kickoffs with a pro ranks because when you get hit by one of these big boys, you hit the stay. Little ranked number one in the AFL in punt returning and number three in kickoff return. He was the only man in the AFL to return a punt for a touchdown in 1967. You build with a Floyd Little. certainly do no wrong as he broke the Denver one-game rushing record. More importantly, here was the Floyd Little all knew he could be, the driving, relentless game-breaker. Sheer excitement. After this game, Floyd was a much more consistent performer. As is his manner, he gave most of the credit to his guards, who he said gave him the confidence to run. Floyd was utilized to a much greater extent as a receiver this year. This pass and run exemplify Floyd Little at his best. It 
is a tribute to Floyd that even though he missed several games through injury, he still finished second in the league in kickoff returns and fourth in punt returns. The true test of any game breaker, however, is the ability to perform consistently, no matter what the circumstances. The premier case in point came the following week in Oakland. Utilizing all they had learned from the previous week's experience, the Broncos seemingly did almost everything right. second stanza, Denver lined the Jets up against their own wall. Floyd Little pulled the trigger on them to break the game wide open. With the ball, and although substantial gains were recorded, the Broncos couldn't score. So to open the third quarter, Coach Lou Saban had Floyd Little, number 44, run the same play eight times in a row. Now, running the same play eight times in a row is not seen all that often in the NFL, but Floyd gained 57 yards on the drive that resulted in Denver's first touchdown of 1970. On, as you might expect, a pass to Al. Dirty enough to turn up field and get the tough yardage. Little Rock to the one, and then Willis Crenshaw made his own way in. Efforts. Floyd Little broke three tackles en route to a 54-yard touchdown. block on the right linebacker set Floyd Little free on the longest run of his career. 80 yards and a touchdown. Denver took the opening kickoff and rolled right through the Browns downfield and scored. It wasn't fancy or really thrilling. But that Floyd Little, number 44, and Bobby Anderson, number 11, were able to have... In 1971, five men cracked the 1,000-yard barrier. In Denver, where the fans were number one, Floyd Little, number 44, was also number one as he gained over 1,100 yards to lead the NFL in rushing. In 1972, Little will be playing for a new head coach, John Ro The nation call it a refusal to quit. It's men responding to each other and caring about their success together. It's the essence. Still another facet of the Bronco offense was the versatility of the setbacks. Floyd Little, number 44, gained a total of 1,400 yards rushing and receiving. He led the team in touchdowns and enjoyed his finest season ever as a pass receiver.